Hey, we are back in the kitchen today with Mary Grace from Village Tavern over at the Summit on Highway 280 here uh, in the Birmingham area. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, so you're making uh, one of your dishes today. Yeah, our new, one of our new dishes that we introduced last November. It's a braised meatball skillet. Braised meatball skillet. But the difference is it has grits. Wow. Instead okay. of pasta. Okay. All right. Let's it's, it's crazy how people think, ah, oh, it's not going to, but people love it. Okay. So, so it just this little mind here, fix them all kind of things. <laughs> people right. think I'm crazy. <laughs> well, we love your, your way of crazy. Right. All right. How do we do it? So now, you know, of course, you know, I'm not Italian, but, you know, the meatballs needs to be really not, you know, soft and juicy and everything. Right. So there's probably, I always try to teach my chefs there's proper, you cannot wing it. I know if you put it in a mixer, you mm -hmm. can't. It needs to be So needs to be made by hand. That's why we have Scratch Kitchen Craft Bar, right? Okay. It's everything from scratch. That's, that's their tagline, everything yes. from scratch. Yeah, all right. So we, we have all natural uh, um, certified Angus beef ground chuck. Uh -huh. We combine a quarter cup of diced, um, um, onion. So you do want to use ground chuck? Yes. Okay. Um, so Less fat? Um, it, actually, we do an 80-20 blend. Okay. Because you want that fat. Well, a little bit juicy. of fat. For, yes. Yeah. Yes, for flavor as well. But so, not ground beef. Yes. Okay. So now, you know, just a little bit in the manipulation, mm -hmm. you put some water. Okay. To help moisten it, around half a cup, pretty much. All right. And then you combine on another bowl combine your spices this is half a cup of breadcrumbs a taste tablespoon of garlic mm -hmm. salt and black pepper okay and parmesan cheese and then just mix it up so that it's evenly coated and then just mix it up in your uh, meat pretty much and that's it once everything's incorporated you um, portion it into balls so that's all your ingredients yes that's okay it. this is very easy of course who will want a cheese in their meatball? That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so now you pour it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot the binder, the egg. Oh my ah. goodness, I forgot the egg. It was white. I couldn't see it. So just put the egg in it to bind it. Okay. Pretty much. It keeps it all together. Exactly. Keeps okay. it all together. So once you ball it and then put it in uh, your grease um, pan over here mm -hmm. with the magic of TV. Okay. So you already put some in the oven. Yes. And here's so your you would, meatballs. Yes. So Put a little grease on the skillet, yes. I mean in the pan. And then here's our meatballs right here. Okay. So you would just kind of whatever size you want, but that's yes. about the size y'all do at yes, the restaurant. Yes. So be careful, this is hot. And how, what kind of oven, what, what's Three, the temperature? It's 300 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. Okay. So, so you don't want it too high. Yes. Okay. So, so, you know, just 300 degrees. All right. So those so, are good. So, so now So now for, uh, for the grits, our grits, are we use um, Gruyere cheese, which is really, really tasty. It's mm -hmm. different, but you can get do white cheddar. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to run through the ingredients. So we have water, the Anson Mills cheese, uh, stone gun grits. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we put, he once it's cooked, we put heavy cream and finish up with Gruyere cheese and butter. Oh my goodness. Yes. And so, of course, our Tuscan sauce. Mm -hmm. This is another, you know, I'm just going to discuss the ingredients. Okay. It has onion, garlic, red wine, oregano, chopped fresh uh, oregano, basil, white pepper, sugar, kosher salt, and tomato. You have to simmer it for one and a half hours. Oh, wow. So you got to be patient. Yes, you have to be patient. That's why, you know, um, if the viewers want the recipe, just, mm -hmm. you know. So you make that at home, yes. and then you could, how long will it stay in your refrigerator if you make it? A week. Okay. Yes. So you could you can make even it. freeze it. Okay. Yes. So now we're going to plate our lovely meatballs. Actually, to moisten up your meatballs, you can put it in your... Put it right in the yeah. sauce? Put it in the sauce. So four meatballs. So at the restaurant, you serve it from the little skillet there, yes, right? Yes, right here. So now we put our, you know, we moisten up our meatballs. Put four and like, um, you know, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 6 o'clock. <laughs> okay. And then we put the... Tuscan tomato sauce, as we call it in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And to top it off with burrata cheese, which I love. What it's kind? A burrata cheese. It's a fresh mozzarella oh. infused with cream inside. I don't know that I've had so that. So see how um, Wow. so creamy inside. Mm -hmm. And then we put it um, in, the f in between each meatball, right there. And, and it then starts to melt. Of course, yes, exactly. Finish up with extra virgin olive oil. More Parmesan cheese, mm. and of course basil if you want to chop it or just do it like that. It looks pretty. It looks easy enough once yes. you get, um, you know, take some time with your sauce. Yes. 
This preparation is everything. All right, Mary Grace, and you guys doing something special for the new year? Just, you know, just come on in. We have, you know, just our regular variety of our menu is huge. So come in if you, uh, for our New Year's Eve celebration, if you guys will don't want to cook and everything. Of course, our Sunday brunch every Sunday from 10 to 3. All right, Mary Grace, Village Tavern over at the Summit. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.